Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here and uh, I'm bringing you a tutorial today um, and yeah I, I I thought I haven't uploaded or done a tutorial in like ages like month I think so I thought I would make one but I don't know what uh, so I will just be going over like like tips and tricks and like some small stuff like some people have asked me for my render settings uh, and some people wanted me to do a Twixter tutorial. I'm just gonna show you some tips and tricks in my render settings and my Twixter settings. So let's start um, with the uh, Twixter settings. So in my last previous uh, upload like uh, my uh, skitless edit um, I uh, I actually got some comments about my Twixter and how I got it so good and uh, now I'm gonna show you my secret <laughs> my big secret yeah okay so uh, yeah f first of all like just uh, delete all this uh, okay first first of all um, we're just going to the key to Twixter is to have the frame rate, the right frame rate. So the clip should have should always have fifty nine point ninety four frames per second. Um, if it doesn't have that, like if it's twenty nine point ninety seven FPS, then it's like then the Twixter is the Twixter can't be good with that frame rate. So to shake that, you just click on your clip in your project area, area, um, and as you see here, mine has 59. So, and the other step is go to your composition settings. So, uh, and you should have the frame rate 59.94, but if your clip is 29, you should have 29 there. If your clip is 30, then you should have your frame rate in 30 here, like. Yeah, just basic. That's just basic shit. So the same frame rate. Make sure if because if you're if you have if the clip is twenty nine frames per second and the the um, uh, the composition like the setting um, is fifty nine, then uh, the Switch store will have huge problems. Like it will warp and everything. So okay, so. When you have that solved, you just drag in your trick store and uh, yeah, one thing uh, if you're if you're gonna put your trick store, uh, you will you you're going to put it like on a spot where hmm, where should I say that like where you're reloading or where you have exactly got a kill, not not where he's like spinning around because if it's Spinning around is just uh, it's just gonna be warpy and the twister is going to be so bad. So you wanna have it where it doesn't move that much. So exactly like here when the 600 shows up, um, and make sure the frame rate is the same as the frame rate and everything. Uh, yeah, and then you wanna keyframe the speed and go one, two, three. Put it to two, two or four, doesn't matter. And uh, when I scope through here, it's a nice Twixter. I I doesn't uh, I doesn't like play around with a uh, maybe smart blend or motion blur or motion sensitivity or contrast or whatever. Like I just take the original settings. And yeah, that's all I do. That's my secret. <laughs> Not really a secret, but I hope you understand my sarcasm. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna tweak her here where where he's spinning, and I can you can see what I mean. So I'm gonna keyframe like there. So I'm just gonna keyframe. Uh, go one, two, three. Put it to two. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm sorry for that. Um, okay, we're back. So, uh, where were we? Uh, okay. Yeah, the Twixter here. Yeah, if we Twixter... Yeah, we we have done the Twixter here already. Then if we scrub through here, it's like so warpy. You see, it doesn't look good. So, you want to have the Twixter on a place where it's like... Um, where it's good basically because if you don't have it on a spot that's like what should I say like uh, where where the clip is doesn't move then it's going to be this warpy so yeah okay so I'm just gonna delete my twister here so yeah okay so now my render settings um, okay it's two different way uh, you can do your uh, render settings. One way is when you have uh, like if if we say you have just hit like a, a trick shot or you're going to render all your clips and send it to an editor, then it's so important that uh, you follow this render settings preview or whatever. Uh, you want to have the render settings on 59 if you're going to send it to editor that's important and uh, then go to the output module and uh, have it on this h.264 and just copy these settings high 5.1 uh, 88 8. yeah click ok and then audio input check that if you want on your clip doesn't matter because the editor is going to uh, going to delete the audio so it doesn't matter but yeah and then you just click render and set it to your editor or whatever you're going to do but if we say you are editor or if you're editing your episode in After Effects and you're going to directly upload it to YouTube so basically if you're going to upload a video directly to YouTube uh, then you wanna go to the render settings and you wanna use this frame rate and put it to 30 because now you're probably wondering what shouldn't we have like 59.94 frames but <laughs> uh, so this is the thing and um, like where you upload a video to YouTube uh, the YouTube um, like basically it's uh, hmm. It's like I don't know how to say it. Like it, the YouTube makes it thirty when when you're uploading it. It's uh, so it doesn't matter what f keyframe you or f frame rate you put in there. <sighs> oh my! I, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, so make sure you have thirty because it doesn't matter. You can have whatever key or whatever frame rate, not keyframe. Oh God. Okay, so 30 directly upload to YouTube, 59.94, send it to our editor. Okay. And then you wanna have then you can have the same settings, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's good how it is. And yeah, uh, audio input output and uh, click render. Yeah, that's it. That's for the render settings and the Twitch store. And yeah, uh, one thing, uh, if you, I'm going to show you one more t uh, tips and tricks, like uh, one thing that I had so much problem with, um, let's start. So basically what I'm talking about is if you're accidentally like exit some things out like this and uh, you don't know what you should do about it. Uh, as you see, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was like, what the fuck should I do now? Like, when I was new to the program. But there's a really easy um, fix to this. You just go to Window and Workspace, and uh, you just click Reset to Standard. And then, to, then it's going to ask you just click yes and then it's back to normal again so 
I hope that's a good fix for you. Um, yeah, yeah, one more thing. Uh, if we say you're going to render something in, uh, yeah, in After Effects, like RAM preview, and it doesn't work, it's like show you a window, like where it says, um, uh, you have to skip two frames or two seconds to RAM preview, like if, if some of you know what I mean and you can't dream RAM preview you, there's a really cool fix for that uh, you can just go to the edit menu and you wanna purge purge and you wanna all click all and then when you have done that you like it will go back it will go black and turn back and then you will can render and then it should work and then you can play it up yeah, so that's my easy tips and tricks. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and uh, if you want more of these, just let me know because I'm out of tutorials and I I could make some tutorials where I show you like tips and tricks and stuff. But just leave it in the comments below and yeah, I'm out. Peace.